Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can configure the Gmail SMTP server and how you can uh, configure all these parts from the Gmail in the uh, key clock server. Because when you come to the email part of the key clock, you would need uh, the authentication part of that and here as you observe when you click on authentication as an enable then you have to uh, drop your username and password uh, this password has the specific uh, configuration in the gmail part and you can get it for third party system i'm going to show you how you can get this password if you're interested in this topic please stay with me so let's get started first you would need to jump in your gmail address and now i am in one uh, gmail address uh, uh, security part you can just go to the, your uh, gmail and uh, manage your google account and then you will that it will direct you to this this page for security after that you would need to uh, go to the two uh, step for authentication part two step verification and uh, you would need to click on two step verification Okay, when you come to the two-step verification, you have to uh, come in, scroll down, and come to APP password, this part. And here, you can define your third-party software like a key clock or whatever you can give the name for instance i'm giving as a test and after you uh, define the name you can create the one password then you can see here there is uh, one the password now is generated and you can use this password for third party system and drop this password in key clock server uh, in key clock server you have the one username which can be your email address as a gmail and this password will be used for authentication part which uh, previously i shown you uh, in that let me just drop here yes here when you enable the authentication part, then you have to use the username and a password. And so username, it's on your Gmail address and the password, exactly the, the same password which you already created uh, in your Gmail as per my explanation. And, and then you need to save it that's all now you your host is already configured your port configured and you need your authentication and definitely you can use the enable as a tls as well and this part for the configuration part of the gmail just i can add it here uh, this is not only related to the key clock also you can use this password and this username for other third party uh, the software which has possibility for uh, configuration of the email like a grafana and so on and so on so it is uh, the same style and the same uh, <clears throat> manner you have to use this thank you for watching this video if using this tutorial was helpful 
please support me with your like button and if you have any question drop your question in the comment i will get back to you thank you stay healthy and see you in next one